welcome back to my channel so today i am just coming to you real quick just to share a little bit about what has been going on this week so one of the things is that our lease is coming up and it's been difficult for us to figure out what we want to do about the lease as you may know we are in phoenix arizona and phoenix is one of those places that had this crazy boom in rental increases and the housing market is crazy right now here as well and so we are just in prayer as to what we should be doing what god would like us to do uh when it comes to our housing and so we're just been we just been in prayer with that and trying to figure things out now the funny thing is is that we recently purchased an rv and so with that rv um i'm like Lord, is this a coincidence that we purchased this RV, which is very, very nice and livable if need be. Um, but do we want to live in the RV? So we've just been kind of waiting for to get some answers from God on what we should do and what he thinks we should do. I'm gonna try to put this back up here. It's so hot today, it's 100 degrees. But just trying to wait to hear from God on what we should do in this season and just in this time. So we were in prayer about it. My husband and I were in prayer about it uh, last night. First of all, we waited for so long for our lease. Like they usually send it like 60 days out. And now we, we were like less than 60 days out and they just sent it to us. And um, once it did come, it was like $934 more a month. Nine hundred and thirty-one, thirty-four dollars more a month. We were like, who really can afford that? We can, but do we want to? I don't want to be house poor, and he doesn't either. So we're just in prayer about that. Um, however, with us being in prayer about it, it was so amazing because I got a call today. Now our rental company has never, has never in four years called us about anything. All of a sudden, we get a phone call saying hey did you get your rental uh, your new lease agreement and what do you think about it i tell them well yes i received it but i don't think anything about it i don't like it oh, it's overheating it's so hot <laughs> but um the girl was like you know you can counter don't you and i'm like uh no i didn't know that but i will be countering so i told them she said well do you want to counter now or do you think that you should uh you want to wait on it and i told her i will counter now and so my counter was for it to not go up at all she said okay i'll submit it for a zero increase so today um we're just looking to waiting to see what that will be and so i guess i will keep you guys posted on what that increase will be or if there will be an increase and what we're going to do about it so all right, so I was able to get the phone to calm down some, cool down some, because it was just aiming at the sun. But yeah, so right now Phoenix is just a hot spot for, um, Phoenix is just a hot spot for people losing their houses. People are living out of their cars and out of their, we, I seen a video the other day on YouTube about a family of seven living in a one apart, one bedroom apartment, and they still were paying, you know, almost nine hundred dollars a month for rent. It's just ridiculous, and it's like I don't understand why the prices are so high. I mean, I get that, I just don't get it. One of the reasons why we moved to Phoenix anyway is because of. Um, the housing market the housing market was really really good it was really in in my opinion you could get a lot more house for your money um you could get a lot more house for your money and now things have changed so drastically they have changed so drastically um but we will my sweetheart you think uh, but we will see how things uh, how the chain of events go down I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do but um, my goal and my hope is that we just are able to become debt free um, if they raise it at all at this point um, we're looking at moving and possibly into the RV like for a year to see um, 
to, to get ahead and get that financial freedom. We don't know if we want to purchase a house. That's kind of where we are with this. So again, we'll just have to see. So we'll keep you posted. I will let you know the answer that they come back with and how everything plays out. But at this point, I'm, I mainly made this video to show how prayer does work and how God will answer your prayers. Now, what the answer is gonna be, I have no idea at this point but i'm so glad to get a week from god to say hey i'm listening and i hear you because we have definitely been the family has been in prayer about this because we believe in prayer we believe in fervent prayer and so that's what we've been doing so good morning family so i just have the most amazing 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 okay did i say amazing news this morning so <clears throat> i was on yesterday the lady called from my rental company and she wanted to know what she she told me that my rent was negotiable for my lease that again they wanted to raise it for not to up 934 dollars here in phoenix we were not willing to pay that we were not willing to pay that but when i woke up this morning when i woke up this morning hallelujah guess how much the lady said they were willing to they counter offer my counter offer and our rent is going to only increase one dollar just one god is so good y'all it's nothing that i did it's nothing that outside of pray we prayed we asked god to to show us his we sought we sought his face we fasted we got the kids in on prayer and God is just so good and so amazing and he will answer your prayers and he will he will just he will just be there for you I just wish people people just understood how good he is I wish people understood how good God is he is so good he is so worthy to be praised I just could I feel like Karen Clark's song like I couldn't tell it if I try honey I could not tell it if I try he is so good the fact that they said one dollar increase was amazing they dropped it down from nine hundred and thirty four dollars of increase they could have came back and said five hundred dollar increase they could have came back and said four hundred dollar increase two hundred dollar increase all of which we were not willing to pay one dollar. I'm in. I, one dollar. I can do that. I didn't want it to go off, go up at all. But I realized there are terms and stipulations. I don't know what their contracts say if it has to go up somewhat. But one dollar. One dollar is all it went up, and I am so thankful to God. I glorify Him. I just give Him all the glory and the praise because he deserves it he deserves it 100 percent. he deserves it not just for this situation but for every situation he is always always right on time so i just wanted to give y'all a conclusion to the story and we'll just wait for the next adventure that he take us on because there will be more but with him it's nothing we can't do with him there's nothing that we can't can get through because he is all knowing he knows better than we do he know he he knows that maybe in here in phoenix living in that rv would have been you know though it's really nice it could have been really tight and even with our oldest daughter going off to college it could have been really tight um he wants us i think he i think i believe that he wants us to enjoy our rv and not feel you know a sense of burden from having to live in it all the time so i don't know i don't know i don't i don't claim to know i just let go and let god so i love y'all i'm going into work y'all have a great day <laughs>